Okay, fourth grade. We're into week 11 of our video series, of the Number Talk video series. We are going to go back into subtraction, and we're actually going to focus on place value and negative numbers. Uh, what I'd love to have you do right now is if you actually stop the video, try to solve these three problems using mental math and that strategy on your own, then let me explain each one to you. Um, you'd gain so much more from experience. So stop the video now, try to solve these three, write your solutions off to the side, and then uh, and then listen to the video. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, we will we will start now. So, with place value and negative numbers, you first remember expanded form. So we say thirty plus two is the same as thirty two. Fifteen is the same as ten plus five. So thirty lose ten is twenty. Two lose 5 is a debt of 3. So your answer is 17. There's really not another way to show place value and negative numbers, but I do want to make sure you're recognizing where we're getting the negative 3 from. If you start at 2, we think about it, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's where our 2 lose 5 is a debt of 3. So if we look at 62 lose 38, or 62 minus 38, or 62 take away 38, or the difference of 62 and 38, we're saying 60 plus 2, 30 plus 8. So again, 60 lose 30 is 30, 2 lose 8 is a debt of 6, 30 minus 6 is 24. So again, if we put that on a vertical number line, if we start at 2, and we're going to lose 8. So 1, 0, dead of 1, dead of 2, dead of 3, dead of 4, dead of 5, dead of 6. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there's our dead of 6. Now, if we look at 444, we lose 256. Well, we would say 400 plus 40 plus 4 is the same as 444. 200 plus 50 plus 6. So if we go to subtract, 400 to lose 200 is 200. Forty lose fifty would be a debt of ten. Four lose six would be a debt of two. So two hundred minus ten is one ninety. And then lose two more would be one eighty-eight. So again, this strategy is place value. So in other words, you first write an expanded form, then solve left to right. So you're going to solve first and whatever's in the ten, whether it's in the hundreds place, the thousands place, the tens place, whatever's on the left side, and work your way across for your final thing. If you're confused by this strategy at all, please ask your teachers um, and or, you know, come find me and ask me. I'd be happy to give some more examples and help you out. All right? Thank you very much.